I'm in the city of Lucca in northern Italy, close by to Pisa, this autumn 2019, to hopefully make a feature film featuring the actor Morgan Freeman. The film is called Luca Mortis, and as a foretaste, as a preamble, as an investigative prologue to that project, I will be in Luca in June next month, this year, 2019, conducting a six-day film workshop. Talking about my cinema in general, its characteristics, origins and ambitions, as a background to this film in association with some 60 hours of Greenaway filmmaking in all screen gauges and aspect ratios and for many different purposes. What is the film Luca Mortis all about? How do I conceive it? How do I intend to make it and present it? Why indeed make this film? Why indeed make cinema in the first place? Is cinema a private occupation of emotional therapy? Is cinema a shortcut to fame and riches? Is cinema a means to an end to score political capital and achieve political change? Is cinema a place to make civilized comment on mortality? Or, as so many people are now saying, is cinema dead already after only some 120 odd years of existence? Are you wasting your time with a dead art form and a soon to be defunct commercial enterprise? What do we hope of the cinema of the future, if indeed it has one? The film Luca Mortis is primarily about an elderly man seeking a happy death. Is a happy death nowadays even possible? Are we all living too long unnecessarily? Has a happy death ever been possible? The most important and significant phenomenon of our lives can be considered to be our beginnings and ends, what the ancient Greeks indeed called eros and thanatos, sex and death. We each live between a copulation and a death. Most feature films feature a sexual coupling, or seem to hope to, and certainly feature a death, sex and death. Is this the very stuff of cinema? Just consider the last 10 films you've seen. There very probably was a copulation, and almost certainly there was a death. The film Luca Mortis is also about history. Is there such a thing as history? Or are there only simply historians? And history being so subjective, at best, can only be a branch of literature. How does the cinema view history? Most people gather their knowledge, erroneously, about history from the cinema. Gone with the wind, a gladiator, the favorite. Indeed, most people gather their knowledge about history's future from the cinema. Metropolis, Alien, Star Wars, Blade Runner. And cinema most readily provides the new mythologies of civilization, and these are usually based on the old mythologies. Just think of the Marvel comics industry. Is not all art a remake, and not just for commercial reasons. In the film, we're in the year 2001, and Luca Mortis as a film, is intended to be a portrait of a city over 2,000 years old, characteristically built around the construction of towers, each tower built to be larger than its neighbor, as aspirations for acknowledgement, for recognition, for glory and for power, often ending inevitably in hubris. And it almost inevitably includes reference to that great city of towers that is New York, with a destruction of the New York Twin Towers in 2001. Four characters, a New York writer, his photographer wife and their daughter and the daughter's lover, discuss and argue the issues of power and mortality and immortality and longevity and suicide and euthanasia. Now, all these characters are in the process of writing and publishing books and fictions. The books will be published alongside the film providing opportunities to consider whether or not the cinema is only filmed literature. Do we really have a pictorial cinema? Or is the cinema we practice simply only illustrated text? This is an opportunity indeed to ask and debate if in fact, have we seen any true cinema at all yet? <laughs>